Hello, namaste and thanks for tuning in. I'm playing around with some new products and I can't wait to show you what I've tried with them. Uh, so let's just dive in. I shot this video almost a month ago and there's a reason why I haven't uploaded it up until now. I will get to that later in the video and uh, let's just get started now. Uh, these are instant transfer sheets from the brand Craftily Connect. They have some amazing designs and these have been a huge, huge hit. They are very economical. A single sheet is A4 size and has a lot of elements and I think it's priced at, at, at Rs 90. I designed a few of these as well. Um, I'll use them in my later videos, but for now I'll be playing around with these retro girls. I have these old empty old monk bottles courtesy my dear husband um and i'm going to scrape off the label and make sure to cut out that metal ring as well since i'm trying transfers for the first time i'm going to try uh, i'm going to work on a couple of these bottles simultaneously um so along with the transfer sheets they also sent me some paints and brushes to play with the brushes are their in-house brand and they manufacture it themselves and I must say they're amazing. I have tried them for the last couple of months with acrylic paints, chalk paints, gel medium, mod podge and varnish and they have held up very very well. And little later in the video I'll tell you why these chalk paints are my absolute new favorite. The bottles are nicely scrubbed and dry. The next step was to pick out the elements that I needed to transfer. Each of these packs come with three sheets. There is one, there's the actual transfer sheet there's another sheet uh, with clear instructions at the back and there is one thick card stock which is um, which is put in between these two sheets just to make sure that the entire pack doesn't bend and I think that's very nice the instructions I read the instructions it said to pick out the design or element you want and cut it as close to the design as possible I'm using some precision scissors from Tim Holtz and like I was like always I will leave a link to the products I'm using in this video in the description box below make sure to check that out if I don't have the link to the exact product I will try and leave a link to something similar so you can try this out yourself I have my elements cut out. The next step is painting the bottles. I'm using chalk paints to paint these bottles because they don't need, uh, they can directly go on glass and they won't chip off. I have, uh, I'm trying out chalk paints from this brand called iCraft for the very first time. They come in these cute little jars and they're packed really well. I, as you can see, I'm taking some colors that look well, that'll go well with the design. And the best thing about chalk paints is a little goes a long way. You can see that I've just added a few drops of all these shades and uh, the, this much paint is enough to actually paint at least two or three of these uh, old monk size bottles. Just as I started painting, I realized that there was a lot of residual glue uh, from the from the labels, and you can see that the paint was not adhering really well. If I if I would continue, it would chip and peel and crack, and it look and it would look very bad. I could take this bottle and run it under water, clean it, and start all over again. But in the interest of saving time, I'm putting this aside and I'll work on two other bottles. Uh, but before I paint, I will make sure to just clean this with some spirit. I have a nail polish remover with me here in the studio. You could use any spirit that you have um, that is rubbing alcohol or even sanitizer. Just use a, a clean cloth and just give it a good clean. Rub it um, all around the bottle and it's good to go. You'll see that little trick makes a huge difference. Um, so now that, the now that the bottles are clean, I'm going to start painting them. I am picking up colors at random, just um, playing around to see what looks good. I'm not worried about brush strokes or um, any of these streaky uh, application at this point because I will be giving this a second coat. Once I'm done with the first bottle, I'll put it aside to dry and I'll work on the second one. You'll see me coming back to the first bottle with a second coat. And I also have a picture of uh, what this look like with just one coat and two coats. And you'll see why giving it a second coat is essential. While I'm painting in the background, let me explain why I love these paints, why these are my new favorite. Um, firstly, these are chalk paints. Um, these... Um, this particular brand is called iCraft. I think they've been around for some time now, but um, I've just discovered them. And um, I must say that the these are one of the best chalk paints that I've used. I have used some brands, some local and international ones. Um, and these are really, really, really good. Uh, these come in cute little 
um bottles um small cute little bottles and they are they have a lot of nice shades um you're seeing me try them for the very first time on glass in this video and um coverage on glass was fantastic um and they 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 were just going on they were just going on the surface um extremely smoothly and i really loved that and blending them was um a lot of fun since the video i have tried it on several other mediums i've tried it on metal on terracotta ceramic wood and uh, it has worked very very well it has adhered very well so chalk paints um this brand of chalk paints i would absolutely recommend that you try You'll notice what a huge difference two coats of paint can make. Off camera, I painted the I added another coat of paint um on the second bottle as well. I ran out of orange, so this one is more pink and uh, I actually like the pink better. For the first bottle, all the strokes were vertical. The second bottle, the first coat was vertical and the second coat was kind of horizontal. So you can see that there is a little bit of a uh, difference in the finish and uh you can pick uh your preference. The paint on the bottles are dry. The next step was to transfer. The instruction said to remove the clear film on the transfer sheet, dip it in water, face down for a couple of seconds, pull it back up, carefully pull it up and place it on the surface. give it a uh, give it a good rub or uh, give it a good tap and um, slide out that white sheet now you'll see <laughs> that i miserably failed the first the first attempt which is why it is it's good to um start a couple of projects at once so you don't lose the momentum and you can just um and you know that the first one even if it fails the second one will turn out better and uh, you'll see that the second one did turn out much much better So why so I wanted to explain why I delayed uploading this video. This was a new product for the brand and I didn't want the first impressions out there to be uh um, negative after watching my video. I didn't want people to worry uh and think that this was a difficult product to use or this was not worth their money or they that they, they might struggle um when they struggle with it and um uh because ma because majority of the people who have used it i've seen videos they've had um flawless results they've had they've used it with ease and i've even seen children um use it to be honest so there is no def defect with the product it is um there are a few people however um like me who've struggled with the with the transfer initially and i think it's more to do with practice and the way we've handling the paper um i'm sure with practice this would get better you can see from the very first um bottle to the second bottle there's a huge difference so if you want to try this i would absolutely suggest uh, and recommend that you try they're very fun uh, to work and they have a lot of cute designs So yeah this is one of the main reasons why I was holding off uploading this video I wanted to make sure that uh, if I was recommending something then I truly uh, like it and uh, stand behind it um I don't like to recommend something just because it is sent to me um and uh, I just waited for other people to use it and uh, hear some um, good feedback about it and which is why I decided to upload it now I'm sure with practice I will definitely get better results next time All right back to the project I wanted to do a little bit of stamping at the bottom of the bottle the the transfer was not a perfect transfer there are some cracks showing up uh but I didn't want to be afraid or I didn't want to be afraid of uh, displaying this um so I decided to stamp badass and I thought that um that completely suited the project and also the whole spirit of uh, owning it and uh, you know not really uh, being bothered by these um, imperfections i used rubber stamps and some archival ink the final coat the final step is to add uh, a top coat varnish this will um create a barrier and this will protect your product from dust heat uh, heat um natural wear and tear and uh, scratches mind you this does not make it waterproof the bottle will still have to be uh you know 
cleaned by a damp cloth and you can't run it under um, tap water and, and scrub it. This just still has to be uh, gently used. Uh, but you can definitely use it with uh, like a vase or, um, um, or just a decor uh, piece. I've decided to display this piece so one layer of varnish is more than enough. You could, depending on your usage, give it two or three coats. Alright guys, that's it for me for today. Uh, here are some close-up videos and photos. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'd love to hear from you as always. Um, do tell me your experiences if you've tried. Um, oh, if you're one of those geniuses who try transfer sheets and you were able to do it effortlessly i would love to hear some tips let me know if i was doing something wrong and if i could change something i would love to hear that and uh, i will see you guys next time bye bye